Lomachenko to Fima Lopez. How? Well, that that was that was a very good fight actually. I um, right before the fight, like on the way in, I looked at the way I saw the way in, I saw the video, and I I kind of liked Lopez, the way his confidence was there, big natural lightweight. I don't know. I I just didn't see Lomachenko as confident as he has been in previous fights. I saw him, you know, focused. It's not like he was distracted. He was focused, but I didn't see the confidence that I've seen him in previous fights. And then, so I kind of like looked back at, at both the, uh, at, at uh, Lomachenko's record and who he's faced. And although he does have great footwork and angles, and that's what everybody claims, you know, uh, in reference to, to Lomachenko, but even with what I would call C and B level opponents, he um, he still gets hit. He still gets bruised up. Um, when he stepped up against Linares, for me that was a solid, solid test. Linares more experienced, naturally maybe a little bit bigger, um, and he had you know the fight was pretty even up until he stopped him with a body shot. So prior to that, when you're facing all these other C level fighters contenders and you're still getting hit, you're still getting tagged up, you know, uh, doesn't impress me as much. So now he's facing facing Lopez. I'm like, okay, Tofimo is naturally bigger, stronger, hung, hungrier, um, just the, the stronger, natural, bigger guy. I think he has a better chance that people give him. So I saw the way in, and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to lean towards, towards Lopez on this one. So... Kind of like the way I thought the fight would roll out. The bigger, naturally bigger guy. He's fast. He's strong. Starts to impose his size on, on Lomachenko early on. And that's kind of what happened. I think Lomachenko kind of showed a little too much uh, cautious early on. A little too much uh, respect, maybe. It wasn't until like after like maybe like the eighth or ninth round when Lomachenko started to pick up the pace a little bit. But it was kind of like you're falling too behind. You're falling way back. You got to pick it up a lot sooner. He he ended the fight very well. I thought I thought Lopez um, kind of slowed down a little bit towards the end, and Lomachenko picked it up. But Lomachenko should have done that a lot sooner. But either way, I mean that's the way boxing is. You know you gotta you know make make it happen when you make it count when it when you should. And mm -hmm. Lomachenko waited a little too long. Lopez wins, and I thought it was a fair decision. The Lomachenko team said that he got an injury with his shoulder in the second round, so that's why. Do you think it's an awesome. excuse? Um, if it's legit, it's not an excuse. It's, it's a real reason. If he had a, a, an existing injury during training and then caused, something caused it to, to reemerge on fight night on the second round, well, then that could, that could also be part of the reason why he wasn't able to fight the way he ended the fight. Maybe he should have fought, you know, like that earlier. Um, but it just sounds bad when you start coming up with, with reasons like that. Most, most fighters will never tell you if they're injured prior to the fight. So maybe he was injured, but he didn't want to say that. Most fighters will never tell you that something is bothering them, whether they have personal reasons outside of boxing, that at their home something's going on, or that they're actually physically, you know, injured from training or something. They'll never tell you that. I mean, I don't know if you, when was the last time I, you heard, I don't, I don't remember, but maybe you could remember or anybody could remember last time anybody actually coming forward before the fight saying, I'm injured, you know, my, I hurt my hand or my elbow or fuck, you know. It doesn't make sense. Like it doesn't, that. yeah, so, so no one's going to tell you. So I, I, I can't go by that. What I'm just saying is if it was, well, then fuck it, just suck it up and don't say nothing because it, yeah, right. it just yeah. looks, it just looks bad. To, to the fans, that you're coming up with excuses. Just fucking bite it and work your way up. Get another fight or two and challenge for the rematch. You know, earn that rematch. There and was it, no rematch. No, that's what I'm saying, but earn it. Mm -hmm. So if he fights, if he wants a rematch, go ahead and, and fight some of these other guys and earn your spot and then prove to everybody that, you know, the reason why you lost was because of an injury, you know? Mm -hmm. It just doesn't look good when you start coming with excuses. I think it's too hard to bounce back and really prove people. Once you lose, people don't want to see you. People don't want to yeah. this and that. But but that's that's just the fans aren't. Not every fight every fight fan 
is is knowledgeable and, and and easy to understand. So Loma needs to do whatever he feels he needs to do to to get back. So if he really feels that you know maybe he had an injury and maybe that's the reason why he he didn't fight uh, the way he wanted to fight, then go and fight some of these other guys that are there and earn your your, your rematch, earn a rematch, earn a title shot, and show everybody that you know there's so much more that unfortunately you couldn't do on that night.